morning and welcome wherever you are from around the world. It could be good evening there too. Uh, we're looking forward to presenting this webinar today. So I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Dallas Wilson. I'm VP of Sales and Growth here at Get Accept. And I was a happy Get Acceptor for about one and a half, almost two years. And uh, I've known Alan for quite some time. Yeah, and my name is Alan Sinsich, I'm Head of Customer Success here at EXCEPT. The thesis for today's presentation is why do 9 in 10 deals never reach the finish line? You know how it's really difficult to take a lead that comes in or take an outbound opportunity and convert them without them going dark or silent? What we do is help you provide a superior experience all the way from first meeting to final contract sign seamlessly within Salesforce so it can help you draw more, more of those deals to the end point. Uh, for me, the top three uh, features I would say add the most value during that process, that closing process, uh, would definitely be the video introduction, be able to stand out and be remembered, leave a great impression. Um, the e-signatures, of course, go ahead and close the deal and uh, collect that money. And uh, the mobile app uh, being, you know, from wherever I'm at, uh, anywhere I'm at, I can go ahead and be in control of my deals. Um, right from my phone. The first thing we'll do is show how to download and actually install this integration. Uh, the second will be, uh, we'll go into Get Accept, create a template proposal um, that we will then use and populate and send through Pipedrive and the integration. Uh, and then lastly, we'll deliver it uh, and see exactly what the repercussions after uh, you know sending these proposals out within Pipedrive um, is. The first place we want to start is the Pipedrive marketplace. So in here is where you can find, uh, simply search for Git Accept. Um, you'll see it pop up and we'll click the Install Now button. And the next time you're in your pipe drive, CRM, um, you'll see this Git Accept button over here. This uh, button will pop up anytime you're on a company, uh, a contact, or a deal. Is going into uh, and finding the parameters since we want to take data from our CRM and populate uh, a proposal with it. So on, Alan, that sounds a bit like technical talk to me. Are you trying to say that as a sales leader, I can produce quotes and proposals just seamlessly every time? As a sales leader, as a sales rep, um, you can have this data automatically merge everything in your proposal and send it out within seconds. I like that. That means I don't have to do the same thing over and over again. It saves a little bit of time, right? We'll see we have all of this data to go through uh, and populate our documents with. So uh, let's go into Get Accept into our uh, proposal that we have templated nicely uh, for this demonstration. Um, so we have an Acme pro proposal, and let's say we want to fill in the company name and maybe the buyer's name. So what we've done is dragged out a text field uh, here for the buyer. And this is going to be the company name. So let's go back into Pipedrive. We'll find our data parameter here, deal org name. We'll copy it and go back into our template and pre-fill the value there. So we'll save this. And now that will automatically take uh, the organization's name on our deal and populate it in the proposal. So let's do the same thing, but for the buyer's name, so for the actual uh, rep. So we'll go into uh, Add, the Add tab, and we want to make sure we're selected on this sender. So all the fields now are connected to the sender. And we'll click and drag a text field right where we want it. And just like we did before, let's put buyer's name here. And back into Pipedrive to grab the merge tag. So deal, person, name, we'll copy that, and we'll paste it into the pre-fill value. So now we have two fields that will automatically be populated with the data um, in Pipedrive as we move along through the Chrome extension. So let's say I'm a rep, um, I'm getting ready to just get off the phone with George, and I'm gonna go ahead and send him over this proposal. So we'll go to send new document. George will already be uh, populated as a signer. We'll go to next. We'll see we have our proposal right here and you can search for others too. We'll move forward and you'll see that the data is already populated just as we um, explained a second ago. 
Now, let's say we want to maybe change some of the data in here before we send it out. Um, it's automatically populated, obviously, but maybe we want it to be uh, Vandalay Industries legal name, Vandalay Industries Inc. And let's just quickly preview the document to make sure everything looks good. We'll go to next, we'll continue along. And like I mentioned before, one of my favorite features being uh, we can record a personalized video, right? To introduce this proposal for George. And now that video will automatically uh, introduce the proposal once it's sent. And when we're ready, we'll just go ahead and send this guy out. That video really adds that unique flavor, doesn't it? I think so. Uh, talk about leaving an impression. I don't know many proposals that are being introduced, you know, seeing a face before you can see the piece of paper, right? Yeah, I really like that. And I get a lot of good feedback from uh, customers. Uh, now that the document has been sent, we can go and view the document. We can see everything is populated. George will have this in his inbox. And when he's ready to go ahead and sign it, he'll click sign document. George Costanza, quick consent button. And now the document will be automatically signed. We can see everything populating in real time. Signed document um, and everything updating in the timeline as well. And just to confirm, when you open that document for the first time, it'll play that video. Moving on from what Alan's built on in, in this morning's presentation, I think that it's really important to discuss four key features that add more value. We mentioned the mobile app, and the mobile app is strategic for two reasons. One is you as a manager or your reps can manage your deals from the field, things like follow-ups. And also, one feature that I really like is, as we talked about, you can engage via live chat. Everything you send is enabled via live chat. And as the picture shows you, in this webinar, it just appears as a push notification, so it's seamless to engage with those customers. Furthermore, if they go quiet at any stage, you have the ability to see that they've revisited it and try and resurrect that deal. Secondly, in the average enterprise sales cycle, there's now 7.2 buyers, and in the SMB sales cycle, there's two. It's extremely difficult to find out who that next point of contact is or who the real decision maker is. But what we find is that often individuals circulate these documents internally without telling us that as a sales organization, we have technology that will reveal the first and last name of the people consuming those documents. So it means you can build a strategic account plan from there. Thirdly, Alan showed you that the automated follow-ups, I think that's a fantastic feature. And sometimes we're all human beings. We forget to do a follow-up every now and then. So that feature really makes a big difference. Finally, a concept I'd like to introduce is using Get Accept more towards the middle and even the start of the journey with the customer. As, as we showed you, you can send them pretty much anything through this platform. Not only are proposals and quotes a very good thing to send, but now you can start sending video introductions when you first get an inbound lead, or you can send case studies, blogs, other things to foster that deal to prevent it from going quiet. If you get in touch with us, we can help help you and show you how to do some of those things to, pre, to bring more deals to that point of close at the end where you'd send them a proposal.